Hi, I'm Mike, and uh, I'm a student at uh, Pickens Technical College in Aurora. Uh, today, we uh, been taught been taught about uh, uh, transistors and amplifiers. And today, uh, I just completed building a uh, four transistor uh, amplifier for um, so small speaker applications. As you can tell. Um, the input signal from this uh, MP3 player uh, is being taken in and stepped up sequentially from uh, the inputs here to the output. Now I'd like to change the change the game a little bit and uh, show what ha show what happens when we uh, um, when we change the uh, capacitance. And I'm gonna kind of cheat here. All right. Now what I just did is I turned off the bias voltage, which in layman's terms is kind of the uh, voltage that, uh, well, used to amplify the circuit. Now, I have increased our capacitance Oh, uh, actually, the total capacitive reactants, and we're going to go from this uh, little three-way six by nine audio um, car speaker to a. We're going to go to a. I believe this is a eight-inch subwoofer. Now, by changing the capacitance, our frequencies get filtered out at the lower level. So I want to make sure I may get this backwards. But we're gonna we're gonna try it this way. And it's very important to make sure that your polarity is correct on these. So if this doesn't work I'll have to swap them around. Now if you notice we're only picking up the low end of the spectrum uh, sound wise. And another problem, you know, is the higher we get on this, you can hear the distortion, and that's because it's not it, the the signals have stopped at a certain range, and that's all we can do at this point for that circuit. So, this is a four transistor amplifier circuit, and I'm Mike with TH Pickens, and I hope you enjoy my video.